What's up, everybody? Didn't even have the mic down. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Zara here. Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 uh, tips video. Uh, prepare for the next format. Um, I know I'm doing this video kind of tight because Sunday is normally when I do my ADS Play uploading schedules uh, videos. And yeah, this is kind of cutting it close. I meant to do this like Saturday, but you know, school. <laughs> but yeah, um, as I mentioned in my ADS Play uploading schedule from the previous week, I didn't know if I was going to make this into a tips video or into a Yu Gi Oh! 101 discussion video. I think I'm going to label this as a tips because I think this helps more as a tips. And it pretty much fits in there, you know what I'm saying, like more than anywhere else. So, yeah, so this is going to be a Yu Gi Oh! 101 tips video. And, um, yeah, how to prepare for the upcoming formats, basically. Um, I know this is one thing that a lot of people don't really think too often to do, but I still think this is one of those things that I say, of course. that if you're like the average you know what I'm saying like the average and just casual Yu-Gi-Oh player then this video may not be for you but let's say if you're in you know like tournaments and things like that then this would be some good advice for you okay so to prepare for the next format first thing you need to do look at the band list and make your decks ahead of time for example, if you're running decks and and all those decks have, you know, say like Sangan in them, then when they ban San then in the event that they may ban Sangan, which actually happened, but still, if they ban Sangan, then what you should do is make a deck that doesn't run Sangan. Or like try to find some type of substitute card for that. Just so you can get used to that deck not having Sangan in it. Because if Sangan is going to get banned, then eventually, you know what I'm saying, then eventually then you won't have Sangan to use anymore. So you would want to get used to that. And the more comfortable you get with that, it, um, it really makes it easy on you in the upcoming format. Um, in order for you to use your build so that's one thing make your decks ahead of time based on what the you know what the changes are going to be post format which brings me to the next thing get used to playing them as I already mentioned when you get used to playing them you're already one step ahead of the competition by doing this not only can you put yourself in a position to where you would want to go out there and see what else you can use for your bills you know you're just getting yourself more familiar with those changes that are, are you know um, that will be taking place post format and this is a good thing and uh, last but not least you want to keep your eye out for what's coming post format you know, there are some booster packs that are going to be released or like some new cards that, that'll be, you know, um, making its way into the game post format. So you want to make sure that you look at those cards um, on such websites such as uh, um, Shriek, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia. You know, just make sure that you pay attention to websites like that and all the other websites out there as uh, that are s similar. And just make sure that you keep yourself updated on what's coming into the game after the, um, what's coming into the game, you know, uh, post format, because that way you, you can you, you can look at what may be in those new cards coming that, that can help you out in your decks so for example again 
if you're used to running sand gan so much well they banned sand gan so if you made your deck ahead of time and you looked at everything that's coming ahead of time then you can see okay well even though they banned sand gan you know say like this right here is um making its way into the game so when this make when so when this becomes an official card then you know i, I could just use this so th those are just some few tips again i don't like these videos to be too long um it's already on its way to being like six minutes <laughs> but um yeah i hope these tips were helpful again make your decks ahead of time get used to playing them and keep an eye out for what's coming post format again this may not be too helpful to you know like the casual Yu-Gi-Oh player but for guys that are in well for guys and gals you know I don't want to exclude you um that you know um play in uh uh tournaments and such I feel that this could be helpful advice so I hope this was helpful and until then see you guys next time peace